<laughs> okay, don't get too excited. Uh, this is the beginning of the movie. But <laughs> this is funny. Remember the Christmas cards that I sent out uh, yes, uh, last year? Well, next to these farms is another farm that I've been drooling over to get my hands on. And the rumor has it that the owner is kind of a difficult kind of guy. So I went up there and I called uh, the guy who has leased the land and he said, sorry, you have to call the owner. And I more or less gave up and I took my bicycle down, uh, down here, but I gave him a call anyway and he said yes. And it turns out he actually has some experience from detecting from England. And he's, an, he's a coin collector. So he's just been giving me carte blanche to hunt a lot of fields. I'm finishing this bear and then I'm bicycling back up and it's uphill and we're gonna do some serious detecting for four or five hours. This is gonna be so cool. And he's on my Christmas card list from now on. Right, so this is the area, but this is the fields in the periphery. There you have one big building. This used to be three farms that merged together. And this is gonna be the second time I bicycle up that road today, but it's gonna be worth it. My experience is that the goodies are close to the main building. The main, bu the main building is on the top of that hill. Right, I've sold my car. It's the best thing I ever did. This is the main building. Uh, it's falling apart. It's basically condemned. There's another one. There are plenty of buildings on the area. First thing I want to do now is to settle down and do some reconnaissance. Because this is a huge area. It's big as hell. So I'm outside the barn, used to be a house over there, there's a lot of signals, a lot of glass, pottery, and this is the first one. God knows what it is, but it sure is nice to get, to get dirty again. This place turns out to be a bitch! <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, I've got uh, 73, 76 here. Wait a minute. I'm gonna try to do a live dig. You know, I, sh I stink at this, and I'm even gonna use a probe. And it's interfering with the detector. Everyone who, know who makes videos know how hard it is to do live digs. though that sometimes you do find coins quite shallow <sighs> ah god damn it <sighs> coleslaw whatever you call it well, we gotta be moving on Two hours and just junk. Looks like I'll have to reconsider my staying close to the house approach. But look at that. That was probably pretty neat 150 years ago. But the garden is overgrown and filled up with trash. I'm walking, I'm going for the fields. Who knows? Who knows? I'm sending you that one, Jack Squat. FedEx. That would be nice.
It will only cost fourteen thousand dollars. I want to find one coin. Come on, one coin. Venga. Right. If that side is like a German hardcore techno rave party, this is silent, and the variety of plants and stuff and thick branches tells me this place hasn't been cultivated for a long time and I only dig trash so back to the other side so this was actually one of the first tinfoil farms in Norway a growing industry in the 30s and we got uh, outcompeted by the Swedes eventually and uh, the farms uh, disappeared one by one but this was one of the major producers and we can find we can still find leftovers if we're really lucky from the harvest of the hard 30s why not why not indeed I just need to find a branch and a little rope and I think it'll hold. Yeah, it will hold. Came in as a 73, can you believe it? Ah, oh, things are picking up. This is obviously man-made and made from metal and had some kind of purpose. I think it is a screw pole. And it's quite small. Bop, ba -da, ba -ba. Our first coin! Will you shut up? It's 5 euro. Hulk on the 7th. Ah, cool. And it's earlier than 52 because of the rim, which I have repeated endlessly. It's 1922 quite cool quite cool I think that's the first old coin I've found in Norway this year oh, in the ground cool get a hell of a signal 91 BAM well if you can find a 1922 Yeah, and lose it again. Uh, there might be some more cool stuff. Cool! Now, this guy was jumping all over the place. It's a button, and it's in quite lousy condition as they normally are. But it's a button, <laughs> and that's okay for today. Shotgun shell, London, came in as a 64. I mean, if this had been the Czech Republic, a 64 would have made you think about a hammer at once. Here it's usually foil, <laughs> but we got ourselves a shotgun shell. I've never found anyone with London, number two. Now those I haven't seen since high school. I don't even know the English name. But you know what it is. It's for geometry. <laughs> it had a 73 and a 76 in it. I have a little hope. Every time I found the Oscar Silver it has had 73 and 76. <laughs> well it beats a tent plug. That's not Donald Trump's comb, that's what they use to harvest the tinfoil. A piece of agricultural history. Now that is quite cool because that is the lion. That is the lion and I found uh, buttons like these on the neighboring farm. And that was kind of uplifting. It's in rotten condition but that is the lion. I hope you can see it. The line with the axe. 
a military button. Right, I've had it. Uh, as you know, you can't buy a beer after 8 o'clock in Norway, so you know where I'm going. That's in the shop, I mean, in the grocery stores. And if you've been watching my videos for a couple of years, the reason for that legislation should be kind of self-explanatory. <clears throat> but I'll see you in a bit. I'm going downhill from now, and that's cool, at least for a while. Uh, no. Uh, no, 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 mm. yes. Now, another advantage of taking a bicycle instead of a car is that you can find a nice spot and relax after a couple of physical hours. No spectacular finds, really doesn't matter at all. I'm sick and tired of my desk and I guess you are too. I seem to have lost the, the button, but nevertheless. We got a coin, and that's the funny part. It's bronze, you know it from before, 1922. I don't think I have this one in 1922. It's only three years after we stopped coining silver coins. I had a 1919 one crown. I gave it away to Bill Murphy in Gata. Apparently has ancestors from Norway And the button It has some writing on the back But as usual they are kind of messed up They usually are But it will probably say Christian now or something like that It's been a good day. I've been outside And I've expanded my horizon because I have permission on many of the neighboring farms, but not on this one. It doesn't give to strangers. He wants me to go back and work more. And I will. And in a couple of weeks, I spoke to one of the farmers said the other day, in a couple of weeks they will be cutting the they will be harvesting and the fields will be open for business. And hopefully I'll be able to get out. I know one place where I got some silver last year, that was, the, that was with the 305, the Xterra, and it was a lot of iron and it was a lot of strange signals there. I'm hoping that I can pick up another silver with the Deus. I mean, this season cannot be that bad. I need one silver coin. Okay, enough about that. Um, thank you for all your messages. Uh, it's been uh, overwhelmingly it's been very nice and um, thanks for watching and happy hunting and you know the story see you later